Hi guys, Retro Django here. Welcome back to my channel. Look what I just got donated from a watcher. I talked about in one of my videos, mainly I'm making a retro videos about old Amigas and retro PCs and all that, but sometimes also pinball machines and also arcade machines. I love all the arcades. Uh, these um, homebrew main built machines and all that retro pie I, I love everything retro so he actually wrote to me that uh, he had this uh, cabinet just an empty cabinet uh, in Denmark we call them for um, one armed thieves you know you just uh, put in some coins and uh, there are some thingies on the display here and you choose some different things and, and all that. Actually, this one is called... Um, I, I don't even know what, what this was called. But he uh, he just he uh, ripped everything off because he works with uh, these uh, cabinets. But I don't. Um, I've never tried playing something like He also had an Amiga 1000. He donated. Condition unknown. He just... Here we go. <laughs> uh, that's nice. I love the Mega Thousand. So this is how the cabinet looks. I think it looks pretty, pretty nice for its age. It's probably really, really old. So yeah, what an amazing donation, guys. That th th this is. I'm happy about this one. So what I am going to do is I'm gonna find the monitor and I'm gonna install it here. 4x3, not widescreen, the old the, the old version of course. I will uh, take off this. Oh, that was a noisy fan back then. <laughs> I will just screw that one off. So, we need a monitor. We need some sort of speakers. And I have some of these, um, what are they called? USB zero delay encoders that I that I'm pretty uh, familiar with. I mean, you connect the USB slot to a computer or your Raspberry Pi. You have the connection here for the joystick. And as you can see here, if it can... Yeah, you can choose auto fire and some, some different modes. And here you got all the connections, different button uh, options or connections. Uh, pretty cheap. Pretty straightforward to use. As you can see, you don't have to have no soldering skills. You just plug one of the connectors in there and the other side got two connections. And those two connections goes in here and then you have a button. And look at this. The size of the buttons are actually perfect. I don't want to push it in, but as you can see, it will work. Cheap buttons, but uh, yeah. I also have some joysticks, as you can see. Eight-way joystick with micro switches, and these are great to play with. And I'm gonna install it in one of these here. I'm not sure what, how, when, and all that, but I will fi figure it out. As of right now, I, I am in love with this cabinet because of it's not that, uh, usually these cabinets, they are, I mean, this is maybe 30 centimeters. They are about 50 or 60 centimeters because uh, the arcade machines had, uh, had to have room for big CRG monitors. But this is just, I mean, this is just, this will be amazing with an LCD monitor. So, um, this is how it looks before I start the project and I will have some uh, arcade games, you know, main emulation and if I can find something else that could be fine. I mean, I also love to play old Nintendo games and Sega games and all that so I will find out um, about the software later on but first let's just install all the hardware. Um, this is... Um, made out of wood and this is metal also this part is metal but and, and if you win money uh, the money will uh, drop down here but I'm not gonna remove that this is just gonna be staying like that 
Other than that, it's going to be an awesome arcade machine. The only thing I'm not sure about is the I need some some sort of glass or uh, plexiglass something or tempered glass would maybe be the best. So I need to find that somehow. I don't know, but uh, that's that's maybe the most challenging thing. Other than that, I think it's gonna be an uh, it's gonna be an easy build, guys. So uh, join me on this one. Um, and just, uh, you know, chill and uh, have some good times. I have just installed the Sony monitor. It's, as I said earlier, 4x3, not a widescreen, because these old games, they, they were uh, programmed to run with this aspect ratio. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna play the games through a Raspberry Pi 3B+, I think it's called. And inside there were a there was a 16 gigabyte of uh, micro SD card. I'm not gonna go into how to get these uh, ROMs and all that. I don't know about the legal things and all that, but I mean if you just Google <laughs> Retro Pi, um, 16 gigabyte ROM images and all that, I found the hundreds of different files to download so i just picked one of them just downloaded it and i burned it to this little micro sd card and i'm gonna turn it on for the first time and see how it looks this is just uh, gonna be just a test so i'm gonna use a normal joypad with a usb just to see that the rom works because there are many corrupt roms that doesn't work as they should so let's just uh, plug this one in also i'm not going to use the built-in speakers on the monitor i mean i could use it but when i install the glass when i get the glass someday <laughs> on the front then these speakers they won't be um, good enough so i'm just gonna plug this one in and find some cheap speakers laying around somewhere and they uh, turn the power on and this one needs to have um, about 2.4 2.5 amps so if you have a cell phone charger some of them only run with one amp then you will get a lightning at the corner that means that the raspberry pi does not get enough power to choose it on properly so give it the uh, i just found an uh, my power has two point let me see I'm going to use this one and it's, it has, yeah, output 5 volts, 2.4 amps. And the nice thing about this one is it's got two USB plugs that I can use. So one for the Raspberry Pi, another one to power the speakers or something else, LED lights or whatever you, are, you want to use it for. So this is a nice one. So give it, give it enough juice to... To run the proper, proper way. <laughs> the ROM file is called Damaso 16 gigabyte slim fit or something like that. <laughs> so we have 16 gig gigabytes of uh, yeah a lot of games. We got some sound, we got some music in the background and I just found these small speakers. <laughs> All right, guys, let's just make it. Uh, I think I will get the camera just a tap. Like this. All right, so on this we got, what do we have? Atari 2600, 500 games. <laughs> we got Atari 7800, 61 games. We got Lynx. Oh, down here you can actually see the the system let's go back here oh that's just a joystick but uh, we can see the system here so we have something called fb alpha i have no idea what that is so okay this is this is um this is like the arcade version of the games all right let's go back and then we have something called Game & Watch, as you can see, uh, 54 of those games. 
we've got Game Gear. <laughs> that was nice. Uh, 228 games. Now the only thing I have done to this image to what was to put um, the different button selection and all that on the on the, on the uh, gamepad. That was that. That's the only thing. So what do I have more? Game Boy. Nice. 505 Game Boy games. Nice. We got Game Boy Advance games. Game Boy Color games. Oh, look at the Castlevania up on top. Nice. We got MAME. Well, that's actually the only, uh, the biggest reason I want to. Uh, oh, I love, I love arcade games. It's nice. We got some, we got some uh, description down on the lower right corner. We got the image on the right corner. It, it, it's, it's all right. I can know I. Asterix, Avengers, guys, we got so many amazing games, Batman, nice, let's go back, what more, we got Master System, Sega Master System, that was actually one of my favorite, it had this one, Alice Kid in, let's just start this one up, I didn't want to play, but um, I actually had one of these, Sega Master System 2, uh, very popular in, in Europe, oh, that's, just, I love this one, love the music and... Oh yes, all right. I used to love this game. Again, it was built in in my... Sega Master System. Oh, how do I... Like this? Yeah. Let's use the ring, all right. Now I can shoot, as you can see. Power up from the ring. <laughs> I used to love this game, guys. Oh, the ghost! Whoa! Actually, I also like the music when you... Uh, get down to the ocean down here, there was some water. Now listen to the change of the tunes now. I used to love this one. <laughs> oh, frog. Oh, come on. I still remember, guys. <laughs> Some, yeah, extra life. Nice. <laughs> Nice game. Okay, let's just uh, quit this one. There we go. So, um, yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of these um, Sega Master System games. Nice. So let's check the next one. Sega Mega Drive. 707 games. Now, I am all in for 16 bit. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the Commodore 64. I love the 8 bit. That 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 what I started with. But I was really really young that, back then. But I, I was a little kid. But uh, um, when I got my first Amiga 600, I mean, oh, Alien 3, amazing Amiga game. The 16 bit era. It's th that's my favorite. And I know the Sega Mega Drive, um, as you can see, most of some of the games are, they were also on the Amiga, 16-bit, and I mean, oh, Arnold, oh, let's go down to, guys, we have so many games, I want to try God, because the music, oh, damn, we got a lot of games. Galaxy Force Gauntlet Nice Let's try Gold Max guys Nice Oh we had guards over there <laughs> Let's just try if, if this simulation also works The Sega Genesis Nice It works It sounds better on the Amiga, trust me. 
Oh, the graphics, Death Adder. The graphics are, it feels like the Amiga version. Oh, shake it easy, boy. Come on, it's Conan. <laughs> what? Oh, it doesn't sound that good. The Amiga version sounds much better, guys. So it actually also run. <laughs> oh, damn. All right, all right, it works nice. <laughs> so let's quit that one too. All right, we got second Mega Drive. We got, um, other than that, we got the Nintendo 64. That's nice. We got Diddy Kong Racing, Donkey Kong 64. That, that was fun. What, oh, Mario Kart 64. That was amazing, guys. Paper Mario. Nice. Super Mario Bros. We got both Zelda games. All right. Oh, yes, Neo Geo. There you go, Fighters 3. Out of fighting. Oh, man, this was nice. As you can see, it had four buttons, so I need at least four button uh, set up. This is how the Neo Geo game started up. They all, they all made that green screen. Look at this. First time I saw this in the mm, mid 90s, I think that the uh, 330 do do, mega. That uh, was, a, I think, my. Ugh, how do I insert coin? Oh, select insert coin. Nice. Big. Let's not try Robert. So I'm gonna mainly play main games and Neo Geo games. That's the reason I'm gonna build this. Okay. Oh, ninja! <laughs> oh, take it easy, boy. I'm okay. What? Oh. Oh. I mean the controls are <laughs> incredible, guys. All right, that one also works. That's just good news. What more do we have? We got Nintendo. We have to try Nintendo game. 1942, the NES Entertaining System. We got a lot of Nintendo games, guys. Airwolf, <laughs> Alien 3. Well, I think it's yeah, the best Nintendo game is, is Super Mario, Super Mario 3. Uh, come on. That's just, that's just truck Donkey Kong. <laughs> oh, uh, the ROM has been programmed to widescreen, 16 by 9, as you can see. So I have to convert it to 4 by 3 because the screen is mashed together, as I can see. <laughs> yeah, the NES version. Oh, shit. Can I? Oh, damn! All right, let's quit this one. Nice. The nest works also. That was uh, that was a nice one. Let's look further. We got Neo Geo Pocket version. That's not interesting. Another Neo Geo Pocket Color. Not interesting. Oh my God! PC Engine. I never had the PC Engine, but I know that the PC Engine had a lot of uh, shoot 'em up games, and I absolutely love shoot 'em ups. Darius Alpha, Darius Plus. I didn't know. I don't know the names, but I just know they have oh, Dungeons and Dragons. Final Blaster. Well, that sounds like a shoot 'em up game. Um, so let's just <laughs> try that one too. Namco. Push run button. Oh, that's just. I love. 
love shoot 'em ups, guys. And the Neo Geo, I mean, I wish I had that back then. I, but I had, I had no, no friends that had it. Oh, oh, damn. I just lost my power up, man. Let's get that over here. Whoa. Okay, I can shoot this missile. What? I did something, I don't know what. Oh, that was um, special. Give me some power up, man. There we go. Nice. I'm just a sucker for these old, oh, um, shoot 'em ups. I, I, I love them. They're just the best. Especially on this, you know, in arcade mode with arcade joystick and all that. So we got Sega 32X. Oh, Blackthorn. That was nice. We got Doom. That's a must try, guys. That's just a must try. Sega Genesis. 32x. <laughs> Let's try half Doom. Uh, okay, again, this emulator also works. That's nice. So let's check out. <laughs> it doesn't sound that good. What? Look at the screen size. <laughs> all right, all right. Ah, you must be kidding me, man. Oh, it's just so bad. Low detail graphics. Small screen. Listen to the music. No. <laughs> Let's quit that. <laughs> For show. Sure. Alright, that's the Sega 32X. I am not... F oh, Mortal Kombat. I'm not familiar with this system, but I'm definitely going to try some games. Pitfall, Primal Rage, I know. Star Wars, nice. Oh, Virtual Fighter, of course, of course. Alright, we got something called SG-1000. Oh, this system was actually the first Sega before Sega Master System. This is really, really old. <laughs> not going to play that. Super Nintendo. 876 games available for the Super Nintendo and as I said, and as I said earlier 16-bit era, I mean the Super Nintendo 16-bit just like the Amiga and I have, oh Airtracer, I have so much love for the Super Nintendo I think it was such an amazing system, I love the games and I mean 876 games, uh, that's uh, that's a lot to play, guys. Again, our fighting Batman. It's just... I mean, all these games, they just cost so much today, the real deal, but you can just download those yeah, these images with everything on it it, 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 it makes everything so much easier. Oh, Castlevania! Let's try that one, guys! I used to play that one, and the music on level 2 or level 3 was my favorite, and I just played the game just to get to level 2 or 3, just to listen to the music. It was so amazing. Castlevania. All right. 1995. I have more ice. <laughs> oh, it's nice, man. Oh. I mean, it doesn't look. It doesn't look that great today, but guys. This game was just groundbreaking. Whoa! Hey, how did I do that? I can throw axes up and... Yeah, okay. Uh, 
Oh, damn, it's just such an amazing game. Ugh. Man! It burns outside. Ugh. Oh, cool that. I can't take that now. That was a flying hit, man. Whoa! No! Oh damn, I fell down. Alright guys, the Super Nintendo also works. Oh, energy. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's dead. I'm gonna play the Super Nintendo 16-bit. I love 16-bit. Oh, that's... Oh, Chrono Trigger, guys. If I haven't played this one, this is maybe one of my favorite games on the Super Nintendo uh, RPG. It says released August of 1995. Oh, you just have to try that one. Amazing, amazing game. Play Fighter. Yeah, we have a lot of games. Vortex, don't know that. Virtual Boy, that was some crap Nintendo made. Wanda Swan Color. Hmm. Uh, all the games are from 2004, 2005, 2008. Nice! Okay. So we got Batman. Uh, 23 Batman games. Famicom. Sega Hex. Sega Genesis Hex. Oh, fix it, Felix. <laughs> All right. 57 Mario games. Damn. Oh, Mario Golf. There were there was a game Mario Golf. I think it was Mario Stars for the Super Nintendo. Some some sort of or oh no Mario RPG. I think it was called. Do you remember the? Super Mario 64, that that was nice. Oh, Mario All-Stars, let's try that one. Oh, we just turned on this music. There we go. Alright, let's try Super Mario 3. Nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, this music! Memories, man! <laughs> Where do I jump? I jump over here. Oh! How do I run? Oh, it's over here. Come on! Whoa! Then you could actually jump and fly over here somewhere. This is here, I don't remember. Yeah. Wee -hee. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, da 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 Mega Man, guys, Mega Man 2. Yeah. Oh, damn, Mega Man 6. This one was my favorite game on this system. I didn't own a, a Nintendo entertaining system. I had a friend that had it, but every time I visited him, it was this game. This game was so difficult, but an amazing game. And one of them had the most One of the levels had the most amazing music I remember, but I um, don't know which one. Uh, not this one. <laughs> Alright, come on. I'll do a jump over here. Whoa! Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> Guys, I'm from the generation that um, didn't push a button to jump, but just took the joystick upwards, you know? It's hard for me to jump by a button push. Oh no! Yeah, it works. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh yeah, memories, man. Nice. All right, and we have some Nintendo hacks. What's this? Batman Shadows of Gotham. Captain America and Winter Soldier. So this is some hack job game. Final Fantasy VII on the NES. What? 2005? God of War? What? <laughs> Nice! Let's try that. Final Fantasy 7? Oh. oh! Barrett! Oh, that's nice! Oh shit. <laughs> okay, I wanna fight! I'm gonna fight you. 54 damage. I just lost one. Fight this guy too. Victory, I got you. I just gained some experience points. Oh! Intruder! Oh man, that's nice. Okay, okay, let's quick um, exit that one too. <laughs> I mean, so, okay, we have some hacked games. I mean, that's fun. Look at this. God of War? God of War 2? Karate Fighter, Kung Fu Mario, Mega Man. Nice. Alright, so we have what's more Super Famicom. Okay. We got oh, Super NES hacks. Nice. Brutal Mario. Chrono Trigger Devolution. I mean, these hack jobs, they don't have a uh, screenshot, but yeah. So we have uh, some Sonic games. We have some Star Wars games, guys. Oh, look at this. On the Super Nintendo. Star Wars Arcade Game Boy Color games. Oh, Return of the Jedi from 1986. Damn. Oh, what was that? That was on the Atari. Yoda stories. Oh, this one on the Super Nintendo, The Empire Strikes Back. Actually, that, that was a nice game. My collection, that must be uh, the programmer. Nice. And again, all games, 500, no, 5,859 games. We have a lot of games, guys. <laughs> All right. That's nice. Yep. Let's... Um, enter a minute. Oh, it, it remembers where I left off. That That's nice. Blast off. Bubble bubble, nice! So many arcade games. Darius. What was that? Don uh, something Don Papachi Apache. Also the loading time and all that, I mean it, it, it just works. Oh this is uh, a vertical game. All right, let's put in some points. Yeah, warning, do not copy this game. 1997. I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take the chopper. Come on. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right. 
Oh, the graphics, guys, real nice. From 1907. Oh, dang, it's amazing! I love these arcade games. Oh. Okay, when I just hold the button down, I make this laser, but I'm moving much, much slower then. Oh, damn. It's loud, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa. Mega power? Give me that. Whoa. <laughs> I used to love play games like this on the arcade. Alright guys, the arcade games also works fine, that's... Yeah. A lot of amazing games. Okay, let's uh, call this one part one, because I'm gonna figure out how to install the... All the, you know, joystick, the... The encoder and all that, so let's just uh, take a look at that on part two, guys. This is just... Oh, I love this game on the Commodore 64, Dragon Breed. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, part one. There are problems with this game. The music. On level one, on the Amiga and Commodore 64. Oh. Please tell me it's the same music. Yeah! Ooh, guys, on Commodore 64 and Amiga, this game is mind blowing. Much better graphics here. I love the music. I wish I had Auto Fire. Oh, there are the power ups. Oh, oh, come on, give me that. Oh, no. There we go, safe. We got the uh, fire breathe breath. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Bigger fire. Oh! Oh damn! Alright guys, thank you for watching. I hope you will subscribe and check out the part two. Until next time, build yourself on an arcade machine. It's, it's amazing to replay all these old games. Retro Django, out!